Hi everyone, this is Kingsley from pianowithkingsley.com where we aim at helping you excel with ease. Now in this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at a very popular progression in, on piano or in music in general. Uh, by studying this progression, you'll be able to unlock up to 80% of all the songs that you hear are the most of your favorite songs. So let's get right into the tutorial. So one of the most popular chord progressions is the 1-5-6-4 progression. Uh, this 1-5-6-4 progression in other parts of the world is also called a Do, So, La, Fa progression. Now whichever, uh, whichever style or whichever system you are used to, this is fine. But you need to make sure that if you are not using a number system or um, some sort of sofa system to help you go around in the course with these, please do well to pick one of these systems. I recommend the number system. You could also use the Do, Sol, La, Fa, which is a sofa system, if that makes you comfortable. Now, the 1, 5, 6, 4 is uh, basically uh, picked out of the major scale. If you've seen my other tutorials, you see that if that, uh, for example, in the key of C, you have the major scale of Right? So that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1. Okay? So this means that um, the C is a 1, that's D2, 3, and then the 4 is uh, the F, 5, 6, 7, and 1. So the 1, 5, 6, 4 progression then is going to be a C, right? Which is the 1 and then two, three, four, five, and then a G, and then a six, and the four. So basically we'll be moving through one, five, six, and four. Okay, perfect. So now, uh, the only thing you need to know to be able to play this in all the 12 keys is to know your major and minor chords. So if, if you've not, uh, you're not familiar with playing major and minor chords, I'll put a link uh, up there which you can click and easily go to the other tutorial video where I uh, spoke about this in detail. Now, by the way, if, you, if today's your first time here, I recommend that you subscribe and, and enable the notification bell so that you'll be able to receive updates of videos that I'll be releasing every week. Okay, so now, what you should know is that the, in the scale, uh, out of the seven notes, the one, four, and five is usually a major chord, okay? So diatonically, the one, four, five are major chords, and the two, three, six are minor chords. The seven is a diminished, but we'll discuss that later on. Now for today, you only need the one, four, five, and six so you need to know that one, four, five major, the six is minor, okay? So this means that for the one chord, I'm going to play a chord on the one note, in which in this case is um, the C. So it's gonna be a C major chord, right? Which is that, okay? You're gonna play it with your one, three, five, and one, four here, okay? And to the five chord, which we can count, one, two, three, four, five, that's a G. I'm gonna go there and play a G major chord. That's correct. So that's a G major chord. And then that, if it was a major chord, would have been an A major, but no, you need to remember that the six is a minor. So remember to reduce this down to uh, this note to make it a minor chord, okay? And then the four or the fa S, a major chord as well, F major. So the whole progression is going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay, so it's the one, five, six, four. Okay, I'm sure you're already wondering where have I heard this before? You heard it in thousands of songs out there, trust me. Lots of hill songs, lots of gospel songs follow this same progression all the time. Okay, 
Now we'll look at some quick examples of uh, example songs where this progression is used. Okay, um, so for, for example, one variation, it, sometimes you can have it arranged in different ways, right? We'll talk about some of the arrangements in uh, this tutorial. And you see that sometimes it's arranged in uh, different ways. For, for example, in this arrangement, you see it uh, as one, five, six, five, four, okay? So a five has been placed between the six and the four. And you have uh, a song, for example, uh, what a beautiful name. Uh, so that's what a beautiful name it is. Right? What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. Okay. What a beautiful name it is. One. Nothing compares to this vibe. What a beautiful name it is. The name. Um, for example, here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you my God, right? Or know that all together wonder, all together wonderful to me. Okay, so you see that I'm doing some grace grace notes there just to make the progression sound a little better so you can just add flip on to the third it's called a grace note so whenever I'm playing major chords I'm doing that you can, you can do it mostly on the major chords I'm doing this to make it sound a little better okay so now th this this is a very powerful progression now you you want to be able to play this in every single key as yes? The main focus of this um, channel or um, th this tutorial is to make sure that you're not stuck in playing songs in a single key. I'm going to show you an easy trick that you can use to find your chords in all the other keys. You can f you'll be able to find this 1, 5, 6, 4 progression in all the 11 other keys. Now, this is the trick. After playing your one chord, you realize that this finger is already on the five, okay? So why not use this to find your six and four? So all I know is that my six is a tone above the five. So that's um, uh, one, two, that's a six, and a four is a tone below. So that's it. In any key that I go to, as long as I play my one chord, and I know this is my five, I can easily come down. Now I prefer to play the five below the one. It sounds much better than one. I, I think I prefer uh, I prefer to play like like that. So if I play one here, then the five comes down here, and I know my six is a tone above the five, but it's a minor chord. Okay, and the four is a tone below the five. Very good. So let's try it in another key. For example, the key of D, right? So that's the major chord. The moment I play this, I know that this finger is already on the five. So all I need to move is to move here and play the major chord on this note. Okay? So even without knowing that the major scale of D is, without knowing the numbers in D by heart, uh, which with time you're going to get used to it, um, after playing for a while but without knowing this by knowing that this finger is already on the five after playing the one i can easily move down to the uh, five right and then a tone above that is this the one two and i need to know that that's a b major right but the minor is like that so that's a five and the four is a tone below as well Okay, so by knowing this, I can just move into different keys. The key of E, right? So I can do that one, right? And then the six. Okay. So 
you can start to add a few fills here and there. I'm going to make another tutorial where I, I give you simple fills you can add into sound a little better than usual, okay? Um, so let's try one last key, uh, key of, for example, F sharp. Right, so you have the one chord, and I know that the five is here, so like that, and then the six, and the five, and then four. Okay, so the moment you get into the key, quickly locate your one chord and the five, and the six and four will just be a tone above and a tone below. So a tone is when you count two notes, so that's that makes it very simple. Now we can we can have a look at uh, another variation of um, another variation of this progression. Uh, sometimes you meet um, you meet a variation like uh, four one five six. Okay, so it's the same set of chords but has been rearranged in another way. So uh, you have the four one five six. So for example, let's take another key. I'm not going to be, okay, we always start from C and then we take it somewhere else, right? So that's C. So four, one, five, six. Now that was a four, right? So four, one, five, and six, right? So there's a song, uh, Waymaker by Sonach. Um, it follows this kind of progression, so. So that's the key, right? So it goes like, Waymaker. So I'm, I'm not a good singer, but just bear with me. So it goes like, Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light of the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Okay? I might not be singing the lyrics right, but you get the idea. So it's Waymaker, miracle worker, one. Right? Five to a six, right? By just knowing these four chords, right? One, five, okay? So, and we can take it to, to, to the next key, in the key of C sharp, right? That's the C sharp. That's my five. That's my one chord, that's my five, that's my six, and that's my four. So I, if I want to play four, one, five, six, way make miracle worker, right? Back to your four one now because this is a beginner chorus i'm not going to be playing chord inversions uh, i'm not going to be playing chord inversions to confuse anyone but if you know chord inversions by all means just uh, have at it and try to experiment with it so you can do and we are going to learn how to add melody this to your chords right to sound much better but the most important thing is you know where your chords are and you can find them in every single key I'll urge you to try and play this in every single um, key try and practice this in every single key get get them right uh, play play around make sure you can play your one five six four in all the 12 keys and by doing this you will be set to play a lot of songs out there. You can play in your church, you can start playing um, with a band, and you can explore more even as you get onto the keyboard. Thank you so much for joining me today, and uh, I hope you learned something. And once again, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing to this channel and uh, enabling the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.